So, let us see the question number 31. At 25 degree centigrade molar conductance of 0.1 molar aqueous solution of ammonium hydroxide is 9.54 per ohm centimeter square per mole and at infinite dilution its molar conductance is 238 per ohm centimeter square per mole. The degree of ionization of ammonium hydroxide at the same concentration and temperature. It means in this question, we have to find out the degree of ionization. And ammonium hydroxide is a weak electrolyte. So, its degree of ionization is represented by alpha and it can be calculated using the formula molar conductivity of the solution at a particular concentration by molar conductivity at infinite dilution. Now, in this question, molar conductivity at particular concentration that is 0.1 molar concentration it is given 9.54 molar conductivity at infinite dilution is given 238 so this is alpha now if we have to convert this into percentage then multiplied by 100 solve this and the answer is coming 4.008 percent so see the option first second option Second option, the value is 4.008 percent. So, this is the correct option. Answer of this question will be 2. Next question is question number 32. Let us see the next question, question number 32. Which of the following statement about the interstitial compound is incorrect? It means we have to see the options and check which statement is incorrect statement. The first one is they are chemically reactive and that is the incorrect statement. Interstitial compounds are almost inert. So, mostly they are used to prepare alloy. Second statement is they are much harder than the pure metal. That is true. They have higher melting point than the pure metal. Impurities always increases the melting point. So, this statement is also true. Fourth is they retain metallic conductivity. Interstitial compounds of transition metal retain their metallic conductivity. So, these three options are correct, but the first one is incorrect. So, your answer of question will be first option. The next question is question number 33. Now, let us see the question number 33. In the reaction, this compound reagent used is A and product is given. Now, if we see the structure, in reactant side, this benzene ring is attached to nitro group which have to retain. Here, benzene ring is having Br group that too is retained. But in this case, benzene ring is having a disonium salt group and this disonium salt is reduced to hydrogen. It means the reagent A should be which can reduce diso group into hydrogen. So, if it is Cu2Cl2, no reaction will proceed. If we are using H3PO2 and H2O, then diso group reduces to hydrogen atom. So, this is the correct option. If in the reaction we are using acidic medium or hydrolysis in acidic medium, then diso group is converted into phenolic group. And if HgSO4 sulfuric acid is used, then no reaction will take place. So, according to the question given, the reagent A should be second option H3PO2 and water. So, answer is 2. Next question is question number 34. Now, let us see the question number 34. Question is which of the following is electron deficient compound? The first option is SiH3 hole twice. A structure of compound Si two silicon atoms bonded through covalent bond. So, here the octet of silicon is complete. Second option is BH3 hole twice. 
BH3 whole twice written as B2H6 and this is the compound having a structure boron hydrogen boron hydrogen hydrogen this is the dimer of BH3 and this compound is known as diborane since boron is having only 3 electron in the valence shell and 3 electron is shared with hydrogen atom. So, this compound is electron deficient compound and that will be the answer. Answer of this question is on option number 2. Next question is question number 35. Now, let us see the question number 35. Which one of the following molecule contains no pi bond? Whether a pi bond is present or not, it can be concluded on the basis of their structure. If it is water molecule, hydrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, there is only two sigma bond. If it is the structure of sulfur dioxide, Sulfur is surrounded by two oxygen atom, one is making double bond and other one a coordinate bond. Sulfur is also having a lone pair electron. In this structure of NO2, nitrogen atom making a coordinate bond with one oxygen atom and double bond with another oxygen atom, there is an odd electron on nitrogen atom. If we see the structure of carbon dioxide, there is double bond between carbon and oxygen atom on both the sides. So, considering the structure, we may conclude that water is not having a pi bond. So, correct answer should be option 1. Answer is 1. Next question is question number 36. 